stress force or compression force on y axis and punch displacement or punch movement on the x axis so what is this profile force versus displacement punch displacement or punch movement you can say how much the punch is moving inside the die and uh, during decompression and during ejection so all that movement is noted here okay so that is why on the x axis you have punch movement or displacement so you when you monitor the movement of the upper punch into the die you start at this point e okay here e so as the punch is moving into the die cavity in which the powder is filled so this this stage that is e to s okay jab wo compression but powder is, uh, when the powder is being uh, subjected to the upward punch pressure means there is initially the rearrangement of particles taking place so here this phase a small a here this shows that initial particle rearrangement is taking place so it is a flat thing there is not much force experienced by the powder that is why this part is flat from e to s okay it is flat because there is hardly any pressure experienced by the powder okay but that that during initial stage when the rearrangement of the particles is taking place when the particles are rearranging to a close packing geometry that rearrangement phase is indicated by this small a now once the upper punch has moved to a, a, a quite a lot of distance inside the uh, die and before the actual uh, compression is taking place under the main rollers so this stage is called as a stage but once a particular force is started being uh, to be applied once it is coming under the main compression roller so you'll get this curve s to m okay ye jo rising curve hai na that is the force is getting increased from s to m at what stage it will it will come uh, m how uh, that peak force when it will experience when it is coming under the main compression roller okay so s a m tak pressure increase ho raha hai aapka force increase ho raha hai because the punch is traveling under the compression roller now so when this point m is reach it is directly under the compression rollers between the compression rollers okay so once this peak is reached the decompression phase starts ye wala abhi ye s to m kya hua compression phase hua s to m is a rising curve with the force increasing as the punch is moving down into the die cavity so the punch movement on the x axis and the rising force is shown by sm so over a distance as the upper punch is moving into the die cavity and especially when it comes under the compression roller so you get a rising curve that is s to m which indicates compression phase once the compression is done the now, now the punch has to move out of the die cavity during the decompression phase so that decompression may what is happening now it is losing contact with the tablet and the punch is moving out of the die cavity so you get a decompression phase from m to a okay m se leke a tak ye kaun sa phase hua decompression phase hua okay but if the material is perfectly plastic material you will get m to u direct straight line direct force is reduced hota hai but there is some elastic recovery taking place that is why you get this curve m to a okay it, it will not be a straight line m to u if it is a perfectly plastic material there is no elastic recovery taking place then you will get m to u but we rarely get this there is some amount of elastic recovery always taking place there is some amount of axial relaxation of the tablet taking place and once it is coming out of the die cavity even radially the tablet starts expanding due to the elastic recovery of the material okay so that is why you get this m to a type of curve instead of m to u type of curve okay so this this so you can calculate the different energies involved in different phases of compression so Uh, when you uh, this marked uh, uh, this blue blue colored region this area under the curve where it is given as the blue color here this region is actually uh, uh, when you have this uh, when you do this area under the curve ka calculations here s m a this curve and it forms a blue colored shaded region so this is actually the useful energy of compression which is given by e2 this e1 here 
so this area under the curve is e e to s to m so this part this e1 wala when you when you find the auc under this curve it gives the indication that there is now this this is the uh, this is actually e1 phase is not desired let us read that what is this e1 phase yes so uh, e1 phase here even is the energy being consumed to overcome the friction in the pre compression phase depending upon the arrangement of the material so this even na this even is the energy consumed to overcome the friction because uh, when the punch is moving down into the uh, die cavity before actual compression is taking place that is in the pre compression phase when the particles are rearranging what is that friction which is getting overcome it is a friction between the particles interparticulate friction it is not the friction between the die wall and the ta uh, tablet particles okay it is a friction which is between the particles so this is the interparticulate friction which is to be overcome so whatever energy is used up in this that is e1 is in the pre compression phase when the arrangement of the particles is taking place rearrangement is taking place so the energy here is required to overcome the interparticulate friction okay now ideally interparticulate friction should be as low as possible why because you are adding glidens to reduce the interparticulate friction between the particles even if you are not adding glidens even magnesium stearate can act as a, um, a lubricant to reduce the interparticulate friction okay so this even value should be as low as possible so this area under the curve which represents this e1 that is energy being consumed to overcome the interparticulate friction should be as low as possible that is why there is a need to add lubricant and a glide into your formula okay to reduce the interparticulate friction now this e3 e3 depends upon the degree of elastic springing back when the applied pressure is released that is what it, uh, that is the work recovered during decompression that elastic recovery of the tablet during decompression phase so this e3 should be minimum e1 should be minimum e2 should be maximum why why e2 should be maximum because it indicates the work of compression it is the energy needed to form the tablet usme kaun sa kaun sa what is that useful energy comprising of which which is involved in fragmentation and plastic deformation of the particles so e2 should be maximum e1 should be minimum that is friction between particles should be minimum e3 that is elastic recovery should be minimum okay so e1 e2 and e3 are calculated by numerical integration of the areas under the curve so so the gist of this is e1 and e2 should be as small as possible to give tablet of high mechanical strength Re elastic recovery should be minimum expansion of tablet after during the decompression phase should be minimum so e3 should be minimum nahi to aapka tablet ka capping yard lamination ho sakta hai if the elastic recovery is high that is why this energy used dur uh, during decompression energy recovered during decompression should be small to avoid the problems of capping and lamination so you can study the behavior of the material by plotting these curves force versus displacement curves where you can calculate e1 e2 e3 agar aapka e3 bahut zyada aa raha hai ya e1 bhi bahut zyada aa raha hai means you have to rework with your formulation aapka jo materials hai they are not giving good uh, good uh, um, uh, 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 work of compaction e2 agar kam aa raha hai e1 aur e3 zyada aa raha means you have to rework on your formulation again okay you cannot do anything with the compression machine but you can always rework on your formulation to get good hardness good tablet mechanical strength okay so e1 or e3 e3 should be minimum to get tablet of high mechanical strength with e2 very high e2 should be very high in this case okay so for when you are writing the answer for uh, compaction profile you have to explain this a uh, punch force that is upper punch force versus displacement profile upper punch displacement profile and explain the importance of e1 e2 e3 e1 and e3 should be minimum e2 should be maximum which is the e2 is the energy needed to form the tablet 
so during deformation the consolidation of the particles if it is very high bonding between the particles is very high that is the consolidation is very high consolidation after fragmentation and plastic deformation right so consolidation taking place after fragmentation and plastic deformation if it is very high e2 will be high that is what is required e2 is the energy needed to form the tablet okay so this is a gist this slide what i'm showing now is the gist to be written in your exam for for this punch force versus punch displacement profile okay so let us read little more about this so you get this curve which is a result of various stages of compression when upper punch moves from the insertion point e into the die the particles undergo rearrangement and repacking so this a small a what is written here that is the repacking stage what is going on at that time the uh, particles do not experience very high force that is why it is uh, at a lower side of the force here okay so here at a lower force this rearrangement of particles is taking place once it reaches this point s the force starts increasing so you have this rising curve s to m okay as the force increases particles undergo deformation we have studied that physics of compression so as the force increases after the rearrangement has taken place the deformation phase starts that is why with the increasing force the deformation phase starts so force becomes maximum here at point m as the upper punch reaches its lowest position u here now this the force becomes maximum at m and then it starts reducing during the decompression phase so this this b what is labeled here as b is the force which which reaches to maximum point m now this b curve b curve is the rising curve s to m with increasing force when the deformation phase is uh, taking place okay this b curve is showing the deformation is taking place during compression okay when the force is become becoming high so once once the decompression phase starts you can get this curve mu ha huh? mu it comes to the lowest point here jab aapka decompression hota hai matlab punch is moving out of the die cavity it is not applying any force on the particles that is why the force reduces so m se u tak aa sakta hai ya n se a tak aa sakta hai but but as we discussed every material undergoes some elastic recovery that is why you never get this line m to u that is why it is shown as dotted line but that is a ideal case your ideally your curve should go from m to u that is an ideal case where it is completely 100% plastic deformation taking place Pla means there is no elastic recovery taking place after decompression so since some amount of elastic recovery is always seen so you get this m to a curve okay but you can calculate this energy or uh, energy loss during elastic recovery e3 by forming this triangle mau iska au se nikalo area under this curve okay of this triangle you find out and calculate e3 value so this this phase is called as phase c or where the decompression phase is shown okay the punch upon withdrawal of the punch the elastic deformation of the compressed tablet takes place during the decompression phase okay elastic deformation that is elastic recovery of the final tablet takes place you have done no in your uh, uh, physics of compression that final phase so that is called as deformation of the uh, compact tablet compact mass yes that is the one of the stages of physics of compression so this line c here that is m to a is indicated by that decompression phase when the uh, final compact that is the tablet which is formed is undergoing elastic recovery during the decompression phase okay so it is a forceless movement of the punch which is represented by point uh, d here now now here once your decompression phase is finished the force is coming the upper punch is come out fully but now it is starting the second cycle of compression so this uh, the punch will again come back now the, you'll get a curve uh, now this s to a this for this line d is representing that the punch is coming back again to the original position yes 
once it comes to the original position it can undergo again second cycle of compression so the punch movement from a to s it show it is shown by this line d which show this, this is a forceless movement because now it is not undergoing any not applying any force it is just moving the upper punch is just moving back to its original position rest position mein hai so forceless movement of the punch so that is why this d is having zero force yahan pe your sa line indicates there is minimum force experienced by the upper punch because now it is going back to its original position where it is above much above uh, uh in it is in the raised position upper punch is in the raised position so this is forceless movement from a s a to s okay so this force displacement curve so such type of curves are called as force displacement curves which determines the energy consumed during compression that is compaction and depicts the behavior compression behavior of the particles so what is the use of this compaction profile force displacement curve is to find out the energy consumed during compaction and also it gives the depicts the compression behavior of the particles so the more this e2 area you have means the material has plastically deformation property or fragmentation property which gives good binding bonding between the particles okay so that is what you have to explain in the exam substance with high e2 and low e1 and e3 demonstrate good compression properties so you can study the compression properties of the material by plotting force versus punch displacement curves so substances with high e2 and low e1 and e3 demonstrate good compression properties this is what you have to write in exam okay so high compressibility of the material lesser is the amount of work needed to compress it to the final volume and vice versa if the material is highly compressible lesser is the amount of work needed to compress it example plastic deformation may you will get this amount of work needed for compression will be smaller there because it is undergoing readily uh, getting compressed 